Hello, and welcome to In Depth. I'm Elaine Anthony. This program is designed to give you full access to news topics and headlines in our immediate community and a fresh perspective from those among us. Today, we're going to explore Jackson State University's back to school efforts. Our students come from various parts of the world, the locations, and really from all walks of life. And our JSU faculty, as well as our staff, are preparing to meet the needs of each of our students. We will talk to Dr. Susan Powell of JSU Student Affairs and also JSU's new athletic director who is returning to lead the JSU Tigers, the capital city, and his name is Ashley Robinson. So we're very, very pleased to have them there with us and we're pleased to have our AD who will join us momentarily. But first, JSU move-in day is always so exciting. And yet, as we talked about earlier, it is very, very emotional. Nearly 3,000 students uh, will live in Jackson State's residential facilities. And while some students are returning to school, many will be starting a life without family and friends for the very first time. To make students more comfortable this fall, JSU's Welcome Week program features uh, events that will help all incoming students. There's also a, a few new bonuses this fall. First, JSU's Department of Public Safety has added a new location for their convenience. Plus, a $50,000 Home Depot grant will make a couple of residence halls even more attractive. And joining us to talk more about this year's fall semester is Dr. Susan Powell. She is Associate Vice President of Student Life right here at Jackson State University. Welcome to In Depth. Thank you so much, Dr. Anthony. Well, we are, to be here. we are very, very pleased to have you here. And we are excited yes. about Welcome Week. Yes. First, tell us just a little bit about you. Okay. And then tell us what we can expect. Well, as you stated, I am the Associate Vice President for Student Affairs, and I've been in higher ed for almost over 30 years. And um, as I stated earlier when I was presenting to the leaders that I have children all over, um, not just in Mississippi, but in Pennsylvania and North Carolina as well. And I understand the importance of coming, going off to college for the first time because I have two children of my own. I understand how um, emotional it's going to be for the parents when they drop, drop their, their children off. So we try to put some things in place to help them to adjust to their new environment for the next four years. Well, tell us a little bit what, about what can we expect from Welcome Week. Okay, from Welcome Week, we have a, a variety of events and activities planned for the student um, to get them involved. One of the things that's new that we um, incorporated this year is your freshman ambassadors. Um, when I arrived last year, I realized that we have a certain number of students that were involved in, in various activities and events. And your new students were, you know, really would go to their room and stay there because they were afraid to venture out. So this year we have about 57 um, freshman um, ambassadors, and these are upperclassmen, who will be in constant contact with these freshmen to make sure they're involved, to make sure they understand the enrollment process, the registration process, the financial aid piece, um, and even getting involved on the activities that we have on campus, the testing part in terms of um, uh, getting their classes assigned. So it's just a matter of getting them acclimated to being away from home, and they will serve as mentors and big sisters and little um, to the our young new freshman students that will be coming on campus. So once they get on campus, they don't have to worry about being by themselves because we have someone who will be in constant contact with them and lead them through the process. For well, the we're week. so happy because we have one of those ambassadors right uh, over here. Yes. So and sometimes they listen to their peers mm -hmm. yes, uh, right. a little bit more. Yes. Because because they feel like they're closer to them. Of course. Now we've talked a little bit about the student piece. Okay. Tell us about the parents. You know, when you're dropping that baby off yes. for the very first time yes. away from home, mm -hmm. nobody to say it's time to do this or it's time to do this, yes. or parents uh, who have actually done it for them, mm -hmm. what can parents expect? Well, 
one of the things I would encourage the parents to do is to stay in constant contact with their child. Just because they're in college and they're 18 or 17, they're, they're still our babies and they're not adults. They're young adults. And they will need that constant guidance because now that they're in college, the influence would not only come from you, but from peers. And everybody comes from a different background. So I encourage parents to stay in contact with their child. Check and make sure that they're enjoying their college experience. I remember I used to call my daughter on Friday night and say, hey, are you going out? And she would say, what? I said, yes, go out and have fun. Enjoy. College is about education, but it's also about enjoying and getting to know the other students on campus. Asking them if they're getting involved. Um, check and see if they're taking the opportunity to um, get enrolled, should I say, in the internship opportunities. Find out what's on the campus and get involved. Make sure that they're not just staying in their room and studying all the time, but make sure they're studying now. But, yes. just, but just make sure that they're getting involved and enjoying the college experience. Going to the football games and the basketball games and the athletic events that we have on campus. And if they have an opportunity, they may not be on the team, but participate in intramural sports. So there's a lot that's going on, the student life and engagement piece in terms of taking on leadership, being an SGA officer, a class officer, a part of the Royal Court. There's so much we can, we offer them at Jackson State and we want the parents to tell them, get involved. You know, we, I, my philosophy um, as the vice president is, and I tell the parents, we're here to help your child grow personally, professionally, and socially. So see, you should see some transformation within the next two weeks of your child once you drop them off at Jackson State because we have those items in place to help them. Now, if a student has some concerns, kind of share with us what is the step-by-step -step process that they need to go through so that they can have their concerns heard if they have a need. Okay, good question. Um, during the welcome week, we're going to introduce them to various aspects and departments on campus. Career services, the counseling center, um, health center, we have the health center. So those areas, the dean of undergraduate studies, all of those individuals at some point in time will be in front of the parents and the student. And what they need to take note of, because we're going to pass out information, Information um, is on the website, mm -hmm. so they can go and use those resources to contact those individuals, the directors, the coordinators, and um, ask for whatever concerns and questions they may have. But the key piece is going to be the freshman ambassadors, because these are upperclassmen who've been through mm -hmm. the process. And sometimes it's going to start with them, then they will direct them to someone else. But one of the things that I've tried to do since I've been here, I have what I call an open door policy. And I tell the students to come by. I tell them where I am on the third floor in the student center. And if I can help them, I will direct them to the right to the person welcome. to help. And when is Welcome Week? Give us the dates right quick. Welcome Week, it, it's starting now. What's today? August, today is the 6th. OK, the 6th through the, no, it's next week. It's it next starts week. the 11th through next Sunday until the following um, Sunday when we have our um, last Their session. convocation mm -hmm. for convocation. freshmen. Right. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for You're joining us. When we come back, how important is on-campus policing for students while they are away from home? We continue our conversation with Dr. Susan Powell after the break. You're watching In Depth. Texas State has prepared me academically, spiritually, financially. I was already mature, but they taught me how to be mature in a professional manner. The quality education that I received at Jackson State University really set the foundation to pursue God's PhD. I came on my first visit. I love the atmosphere. The culture has so much energy. There's always something going on. Jackson State, to me, it's just a home away from home. Welcome to the party. Be a part of the party this season with Jackson State football. 2018 season tickets are on sale now for only $75. Jackson State football is building tradition and blazing new trails. Get your tickets today. Welcome back, everyone. 
The Jackson State University Police Department has been in place since 1962. The main police station is located just behind the student center and it's open for use. The safety of all our students is a 24 hour a day situation. This fall, a new location is open for students to have an option for even quicker access. Now, we still have with us Dr. Powell, and we want you to just talk a little bit about student services okay. uh, that are available for residents and commuter students. Okay. Um, for the commuter students, let's talk about that first. We will be incorporating a new program called Commuter U where we would reach out to our commuter students and have events and activities on campus for them because a lot of times once they come to campus they take they go to class and they leave so we're trying to also reach out to them with the um, recruitment um, uh, staff to make sure that we have events and activities scheduled and planned for our um, commuter students as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Now as far as the services for our campus-based students um, we have asked that several of our um, departments on campus, including public safety, which is new, they will be doing workshops and um, events and activities in the housing um, area during the evenings when they meet with the students mm -hmm. to provide them with support and guidance, the health center as well, and the counseling center. So we're trying to provide activities for the students. We're going to go to them mm -hmm. as opposed mm -hmm. to us, them coming to us. Mm -hmm. well, good, yes. good. Let's look at student housing. That's always a big, big always, deal. Always. Uh, anytime students are moving <coughs> in and the move-in yes. day is, is, uh, is emotional Very and it's exciting it's all at the same time. Correct. What can they expect in terms of student housing? Well, um, in terms of moving in, um, we ask that the parents and, and the students be patient. Um, I encourage the parents to make copies of everything. So when they arrive on campus, um, because keep in mind your child is not the only child moving in. Mm -hmm. So if you be patient with us, um, there's a certain time that's on the website that you need to note. Eight o'clock is check-in. We're going to start the move-in process and we want them to come in and move in on time because we have convocation practice as well. So we have a lot scheduled for that day. We ask that they look on the website to take a look at the list of items that they can bring and cannot bring and be prepared for that. We have volunteers in place to assist with the move-in process. Um, if they, um, there will be signage available and public safety will be available to direct them where they need to go. So we mainly want them to be patient with us as we um, um, move it as expeditiously as possible to get them in their room. I think they will be pleased with some of the renovation. We're not complete. We're doing some with the Home Depot project that you spoke mm -hmm. about. We had about 70 students to come out last week to assist with the painting, to get them ready and prepared. We had plumbing done. So we're taking it step by step to make some progress so that their home away from home will be comfortable. So you're telling us that some upperclassmen have volunteered, volunteered to assist. That yes. is phenomenal. There were about 70 of them that showed up last week to help paint at the freshman residence halls for uh, McAllister, to be exact, um, to do some painting. And it was quite a sight to see, to, and with the excitement that they took pride in to, um, to welcome the freshmen. They actually wanted they to They wanted, do this. yes. They came on their own. We put the notice out, and they came out to support. You know, we stated uh, earlier that our students just come from all locations mm -hmm. all across the nation. Correct. Can you give us any kind of background on demographics that you've seen so far in some of our students? Do they just come from everywhere? They do. They come from everywhere. Um, we have quite a few people, students from California, from Chicago, mm -hmm. um, not many from North Carolina, my hometown, but that's okay. <laughs> but of course, uh, uh, Mississippi, we have a larger number of them. But I, I, surprisingly, from the Chicago and St. Louis area, the Missouri area, we have quite a few students from that area. Well, one thing about it, in terms of Chicago, we have a huge alumni chapter see? there. Mm -hmm. And they send those students back. Yes. And I think you're probably going to see a few from Michigan. The Detroit chapter oh, great. is very, very large. Great. Great. So we are so appreciative of our alums for actually stu sending students back. To yes, us. that helps out a lot. Even you know Texas and Tennessee, you know the alumni base is great there. So we have a good representation of students there as well. Well, and I can attest they're from everywhere. We get yes. students here in journalism and media studies 
from all from Atlanta, from Chicago, mm -hmm. from Texas. And let's not forget our know. international students. And we our international, international students, students as well. well. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when we think about the uh, undergraduate program, we're getting people from all over for our graduate program yes, as well. exactly. So Jackson State is moving. Yes, moving forward. Moving, moving forward, forward. In a positive way, yes. And we just want to tell you how much that, you know, we appreciate what you are doing and Thank also you. your staff. You Thank talked you. A, a lot about your team. Yes. Maybe I'm a little biased, but I have a great team because what happens in student affairs, it's not because of me. It's because they work hard. They work during the summer planning activities and events for the students, staying late at night to make sure it gets done. So, yes, I have a wonderful team that work, that hardworking team. Well, we appreciate that, yes. but we also appreciate your leadership. Thank you. We really, really do. Thank you. And we want to have you back to talk about sure. some of these other aspects yes. later on, hopefully, in the semester. Sure. So thank you so back. much for being with us. You're you're welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for the invite. I appreciate it. When we come back, JSU's new athletic director uh, is actually no stranger to JSU or Jackson State. Uh, while he is excited to start his new role as the new athletic director for the university, he has challenges to overcome, but we are so pleased that he is about meeting those challenges. So please join us after the break. You're watching in depth. Your girls have been with you through every moment of your life. They were with you when you felt unbreakable and with you when you had your heart broken. They were with you when you shared your love with the world and with you when she became your world. They're still with you right now. How well do you know them? You don't know my WJSU 88.5 FM is a leading provider of cool jazz programming. News and information to a diverse audience as a service of Jackson State University. Visit us on the web at WJSU.org. Welcome back, everyone. JSU's new athletic director is actually very familiar to the Jackson State area. His name is Ashley Robinson. Uh, he originally uh, is going to be reintroduced because uh, he was reintroduced to us by our very own president, Dr. William Bynum. Take a look. I introduce to you Jackson State University's new vice president and Director of Athletics, Mr. Ashley Robinson. Robinson returns home to the capital city. He's a Murrah High School and Mississippi Valley State grad. We, a grad, we won't hold that against him. He served as Assistant Compliance Director for JSU under the Athletic Director, Bob Braddy. We welcome to our show, Ashley Robinson. We're happy to have you here. Thanks for having me, Dr. And having you at Jackson State University. So you're a graduate of Jackson Public Schools. So this is like coming home. Glad to be home. Family's glad to be home and glad to be a part of Jackson State University. Well, good, good, good. Well, as we talk about our background, we got to take our hats. And we need to put our hats on. All right. All right. So I know it's time for football. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, now, back to school for student athletes. Can you talk about some of the plans that you have? Uh, uh, very important. I think you coming back to school, our football team has, has arrived on the 1st of August. And volleyball is here and soccer team is here. Uh, bringing them back to, to make sure that we're giving them what they need to be successful on and off the court is very important to me and very important to my staff and very important to the university. Uh, any athletic department that has a good good athletic program, you know, it helps the university grow, helps the enrollment grow, and that's what we're all about, growing the university. Well, good, and we know that athletics plays a major role mm -hmm. uh, at any university. Right. Uh, and, and we want to see that happen here at Jackson State. So can you tell us about some of the services and some of the programs and accommodations that are made to ensure that student athletes are successful. You know, on the court, you know, the kids are here to graduate. We, we say they're going to leave here with two things. They're going to leave here with a degree and leave here with a championship. 
Uh, so we want to put things in place to make sure they're successful. Our academic uh, area does a really good job supporting our student athletes, uh, our tutors, our, our, uh, our tutor department, you know, our academic enhancement areas, putting uh, things in place when they travel to make sure they have access to laptops and computers. Uh, graduation rates is over 80 percent, so we've been doing a really good job of graduating our student athletes and putting them putting them in a great place to be successful on and off the court. So very excited about all those academic areas that we have on campus and having a good FAR. Uh, Dr. O'Banner Jackson does a really good job supporting athletics and having somebody on that faculty side that really understands the importance of graduating our student athletes. That is wonderful. Well, you know, we started out with get rid. Right. And I was just all revved up because football is so important uh, to our community. All the sports are. But mm -hmm. we're getting ready to start football very, very soon here right. at Jackson State. Right. So can you tell us uh, what can the fans expect uh, to see this fall on the gridiron? Some exciting football. Uh, exciting football. Very excited about the offensive coordinator we just put in place. Uh, so you'll see some different things uh, on the offensive side. So that's very exciting. As you know, from the defense side of the ball, we've done a really good job the last two years on the defense side of the ball. And I think on the offense side of the ball, you'll see a, you'll see a lot, of, lot of passing, a lot of throwing the ball all over the field. Uh, we have the air raid offense, so very excited about that. You know, I can't give the secrets, all the secrets out, <laughs> but I stay tuned. Uh, I think it's going to be a very exciting season. I think everybody should come out and support Tiger football. And as you know, you know, from the history and tradition that we have, you know, with the WC Garden Days coming back, the first game of the season is the WC Garden Classic weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to make him happy that weekend, put a little pressure on Coach Hughes. As I said, we're going to make up the WC Garden <laughs> happy that weekend. But very excited about the season. Uh, don't want to make too many promises, but you, we know the tradition and we know the history behind, behind Jackson State football. So we're looking for championships as we won in the past. We're looking to do well on the East, and we're looking to bring back that tradition, bringing back the glory days, building on tradition, and blazing new trails. Well, this is wonderful, and we know that you're going to do that for us. Uh, do you have any new policies? that you think will affect the fans? I think very, uh, one new policy I think is very important. I think it's something that we went away from, mm -hmm. and we talk about engaging the community. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do a, a day of game, uh, tickets, children tickets, $10 from 5 to 18, and any kids under 5 get in free. So we encourage all the families to come out. We're going to bring those, those uh, children tickets back. Like I said, from 5 to 18, $10. Any, any kids under five free. So I think that's very exciting news, and I wanted to get that out to our alums and our supporters to get our, to engage our community and get the families out to support Tiger football. What made you want to come back to Jackson State or come back to this area? Rich tradition, you know, growing up around Jackson State, you know, growing up around the sunny boom, you know, my dad is a Jackson State grad, my whole family uh, growing around, coming to the games every weekend. And anytime you can build on the tradition of Jackson State University and you get an opportunity to do so, I mean, you cannot, you cannot turn down that opportunity. So very excited being home. Mm -hmm. It's home for me and very excited to be able to bring uh, Jackson State Athletics back to prominence. You mentioned a vision. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we kind of talked about football. Right. What is your vision for some of the other sports, basketball, baseball, all, all, and Jackson State has excelled in all those areas at one point in time or the other. Our vision is to be the best FCS program in all 16 sports. It's to graduate our student athletes and win championships and be one of the top FCS program in the nation. What would you tell a parent who has a student athlete? Mm -hmm. uh, how would you encourage them? by coming to Jackson State, what would you say to them? You know, the number one thing you talk about the tradition and the history of Jackson State. Uh, you look at all the SEC schools, you look at the state schools in, in Mississippi. We have four Hall of Famers uh, right here from Jackson State University, mm -hmm. which we have more Hall of Famers than any SEC school besides Alabama, and we may have more Hall of Famers than any uh, university in the state of Mississippi. So that's something that you really can touch on and talk about the history of, of your Hall of Famers and that's big coming from Jackson State University. And that's fantastic. And do, do you plan to take care of your student athletes? The number one deal for me is the well-being of the student. How we travel, how we eat, how we treat our student athletes. Because for me, it's all about the student experience. We want our students to leave here with a good experience. We want, you know, it's a social media world, so we want to make sure that we get the message out there and let people know that Jackson State is back. And we're, we're, we're ready to come back. We're ready to build on that tradition. We're ready to blaze on new trails. Well, good. Get ready. Get ready.
Well, we want to tell all of our friends to get ready because Jackson State is here and we're going to have a great season. Great season. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Thank you. Welcome to the party. Be a part of the party this season with Jackson State football. 2018 season tickets are on sale now for only $75. Jackson State football is building tradition and blazing new trails. Get your tickets today. Despite JSU's budget woes, how are we going to put uh, football back on top? Well, we, we do have challenges when it comes to budget, but I think one of the most important things is as having a, a conference call with our national president, Dr. Norwood, we talked about we have over 50,000 registered alums. Well, you know, you know uh, I'm challenging all the, the 50,000 alums to, to purchase season tickets. You know, we talk about budgets and we talk about support. If we can have over 25 to 30,000 season tickets, that's, that solves a lot of problems that we have. So I'm encouraging all the alums and supporters to purchase season tickets, and I think that'll cut down on some of the budget issues that we have. Okay. And, and what are, tell us a little bit more about what you see for the season. I mean, I know you've got to have your hands in just about everything. Right. But without giving away too many of your trade secrets, mm -hmm. can you tell us, what areas are you touching? And I want you to talk a little bit, if you will, about your associate AD. All right. Well, we're, we're, we're touching on, on, on structure and, uh, and organization, uh, making sure that we're organized and, and structured and doing things that we need to do uh, when it comes to uh, policies and procedures. Uh, our social, two associate ADs, my SWA, Janice Slavillet, who's over uh, academics, and she does a lot of the areas. She's done a really good job in the academics areas, enhancing and growing our student athletes when it comes to graduating and, 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 and social skills and different things of that nature. And our social AD, Elise Wells Kibber, who's mm -hmm. over business. I mean, she's over a budget, she's over the state and management. She's doing a really good job of coming in, putting policies in place to make sure that we can operate. You know, it's very important to be able to operate and, and giving our coaches and our student athletes what they need to be successful. And we all want to win championships and we all want to take our university to the next level, but it also takes uh, supporting and, and doing the things that we need to do to support our student athletes and our coaches and giving them what they need to be successful. And what have and, you told the coaches? You know, it's, 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 it's it's exciting times, you know. We got to have a lot of energy, you know. If, if you have a lot of energy, your student athletes will have a lot of energy. Uh, you will be supported. You will get what you need to be successful. Uh, we will sit down and we will work out. And I've met with all coaches one on one, and all our coaches are very excited. I think we we are excited about the season, and they're excited to to move the university forward, and they're excited to 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 blaze on the on the tradition and and. and and, and take us to the next level. And I think that's what it's all about. You know, I'm a little different. You know, you have, you know, a lot of ADs. I'm, I'm here to support our coaches and our student athletes and to grow the university. And I, for me, that's what it's all about. Well, that is absolutely fantastic. I can tell you that when it comes to the community, the community is excited about you being here. They are excited about the uh, upcoming season and wish you well. They just keep telling, I keep telling them and they keep telling me, get ready. Get ready. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. There we are again. <laughs> Jackson State has prepared me academically, spiritually, financially. I was already mature, but they taught me how to be mature in a professional manner. The quality education that I received at Jackson State University really set the foundation to pursue God's PhD. I came on my first visit. I love the atmosphere. The culture has so much energy. There's always something going on. Jackson State, to me, it's just a home away from home. WJSU 88.5 FM is a leading provider of cool jazz programming. News and information to a diverse audience as a service of Jackson State University. Visit us on the web at wjsu.org.